Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so for to start, we're using the Bounce Foundation from Beauty Blender. Um, it's been really tricky for me to find um, my perfect shade. They were either too um, dark once they oxidize or too warm. So um, this is the closest one that I could actually make work. So um, that's what I'm using today. I'm going to show you guys how to um, tone it down with applying other products. Um, it'll all come together eventually. So I'm just using my Real Technique sponge, which I absolutely love. Um, the flat side to apply the foundation all over um, my face. And then I will proceed with concealer. Once you achieved your desired amount of coverage, then you can go in with your concealer. This one here has been one of my favorite concealers, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm using this one, it's about two to three shades lighter than my skin tone to bring a highlight to my face. So I'm brightening up the center of my face using um, that concealer. Um, so now I'm going to use the more pointed part to the Real Technique sponge to really get under my eye area and give me the best blend possible. Now this is if you like to really be highlighted and really want to brighten the center of your face. Of course you can use as less or as much concealer as you personally prefer. Um, this is just what I preference because I'm trying to also help neutralize all of the warmth from my foundation. I use a little bit more concealer. Blend, 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 blend <laughs> until you can't blend anymore. Um, just kidding. You don't want to blend it completely away. All right. Uh, so next I'm going to softly um, contour. I'm really just warming up my skin. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer um, to add some warmth and structure to my face. Um, I could technically go darker, but this is just going to give me a soft bronze um, to structure out my face. I'm also going to slightly um, contour the nose as well. Um, so once I have my proper placement, then I'm going to go back in with the um, Real Technique sponge. Um, this time I'm using like the side, the rounded side um, nearest to the point to press that into my skin and blend it all the way through. You just want to make sure you're blending. Um, I like to work with creams first and then set with powder. Um, it just gives me more of a flawless, seamless blend. So I'm just and diffusing more structure um, to the face. Where the um, again, it's personal contour and the depending concealer. on the amount of time you have, um, you might so want that to just way do you can't work with a powder for where, contouring um, and bronzing. It stops or starts, um, so you because it can be a little time blend. consuming. You want to make sure um, that you now. Have I'm just using a Morphe brush. Proper time to set aside to do your cream blending product prior to use. Um, setting um, with your powder. I'm using this brush, it's really good because it goes on an angle and I can get a nice smooth blend for my nose contour. Looks good. Now it's time to get ready to set that concealer in place, ladies, so that it does not move. I'm using my all-time favorite, Laura Mercier 
translucent powder um, using the red technique sponge the opposite side from which I was using the cream but the pointed part to um, set um, my under eye and the center of my face this is going to absorb any oil um, completely mattify and lock my concealer onto the skin um, so that throughout the day as time goes on it does not begin to crease or separate so um, this is one of those very important steps that's gonna keep your makeup looking flawless now to go in and set where I um, slightly contoured I'm using my Fenty Beauty bronzer to um, set and add some color back into my skin so I'm just going over top of where I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now, I typically don't wear blush, so with bronzer, it's okay to go a little heavy or apply a good amount on the cheek um, because it's going to prevent you from looking washed out. Now I'm just going to brush away the excess powder um, that I left there to uh, set the translucent powder in place. All right, so um, I like to go in and spray my Morphe setting spray um, just to cause all of the powders to absorb and settle onto the skin. Um, I like to do this in between my makeup application because it'll um, have everything kind of melt together um, on the skin and not look textured or powdered. And then I like to actually press that setting powder into the skin um, to give me a nice flawless finish. Um, now as a base, I'm just using um, my concealer that I highlighted with to neutralize um, my eyelid um, prior to applying my eyeshadow. It's so funny the faces you make when you're doing your your makeup. <laughs> it's okay. You're going to look crazy. Um, but that's all a part of the process. All right. Um, now time for the eyes so I am really big on multi using products right so I oftentimes use my bronzer um, as a crease color because it's usually the perfect brown tone and sometimes it's hard to find a good neutral transition color that doesn't immediately turn your look into like color color so um, I oftentimes use my bronzer as my crease or transition shade prior to applying eyeshadow now I'm going to use my Alyssa Edwards um, eyeshadow palette um, the collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills um, I always like to spray my eyeshadow brush to get the best color payoff and pigment possible. That also helps to prevent fallout as well. Um, so I like to spray the brush, pick up the color that I'm going to use, and then stamp it onto the eyelid. will give you the best color payoff um, and help to avoid fallout as well. I'm just repeating um, the same thing on the other side.
Now I'm just going to use my finger. Sometimes your finger helps to pull up and pick up the pigment, especially if you're wor working with textured shadows. So after applying it with the brush, I just picked it up with my ring finger and applied a little more of that purple shade to get the best pigment possible. Um, because sometimes the brush just will not give you the same effect as it would with the warmth of your finger. So now I'm going into a transition shade. I'm gonna diffuse any harsh lines um, from where the darker purple shadow meets the transition shade. Um, I wanna get rid of any harsh lines. So to to diffuse that, I'm using um, one of the softer, warm shades from that palette. After enhancing my crease color, I am going to go back over the purple using the brush just in case I may have softened the lid tone a little too much from adding more depth to my crease. So I'm just causing that to stand out more by going over the lid um, with that same first purple shade. Now this is one of my favorite parts. I like to use um, one of the shades I use on my lid to smudge at the bottom um, to give me a lower lash line um, like smokiness. Um, I really like how that pulls the look together. So I'm just smudging some of the purple lid shade on my lower lash line to give me a nice um, under eye smokiness. Now for some more pop of color, I'm using one of my favorite green eyeliners. This is from Black Up. Um, I believe you may have to go online to get it because it's no longer carried at Sephora's, but um, it's like the most waterproof, smudge proof green eyeliner I've used and it's a very soft tip so it glides on and the pigment is insane. Ladies, you always want to prep your lashes prior to applying falsies. Um, it'll just give it a better blend. You can mesh them together well. Um, and it really just enhances the eye look. And she's back. Lashes on. Um, and you can just tell how much it definitely enhanced the eye look. Um, now I'm just going in, I believe, with a little bit more of my bronzer just to add some more color. Um, to my cheek now it's only right that we add some glow to this face so we can shine bright <laughs> so I'm using now the Laura Mercier glow powder the deeper one gives you a nice golden glow it is a loose powder so um, be very careful because um, sometimes loose powders can be messy um, and you don't want to be shining like a disco ball so be very strategic with how much you're applying and placement um, and it'll just give you a beautiful glow last but not least um, we have to finish this look off with some lips so I personally love to use the Smashbox true grit liquid lipstick as a liner it's the perfect brown liner and also i just couldn't seem to figure out where my chestnut lip liner was so um i'm lining my lips with the smashbox liquid lipstick and then ladies i have a trick for you um with trying to figure out the perfect nude uh i wanted to have a flesh tone nude that kind of mimicked my skin tone so i'm actually using my concealer yes i'm using my smashbox studio skin concealer and i'm going to um, blend that in with the brown on the outside um, to create like a really nice neutral nude lip 
And then of course, I'm definitely um, going to make sure that I blend the two shades together to give me a really nicely blended ombre lip. We don't want <laughs> no harsh lip liner. <laughs> Uh, from back in the day we're not we're not in the 90s we don't want that harsh heavy lip and line lastly so of course next, definitely make sure that you're your blending them spray um, together seamlessly you are done i hope you ladies enjoyed thanks for joining my channel um let me know down below what you guys would like to see next and if you were able to recreate this look have a blessed one bye